JVL integrated servo step motors are all-in-one step motors with servo-like performance. The control power and motor power are separated, so the motor can be turned off while still being able to monitor its position and status. The motors are available with safe torque off for increased safety. Motor power and control power to MIS 17, 23, 34, and 43 is in the same M12 connector. The motor can run on 7 to 72 volts DC. The embedded controller can run on 7 to 28 volt DC. In most user applications, using 24 volt for the control power is optimal, and 24 volt or 48 volts for the motor power. Note high voltage equals higher maximum speed, but at the cost of increased motor temperature. If you're using a 24 volt DC, the motor and the controller can share the power supply. Best practice is, however, to always use separate power supplies to ensure stable control voltage. It's important to choose a motor power supply that has sufficient current. The available current directly influences the motor's maximum torque. The M12 5-pin power connector is unified on all JVL motors and M12 power cables. The wires also share the same color coding. Connect both brown and white to the motor power supply plus. Maximum is 72 volts DC. Connect both the blue and gray to ground and connect the black wire to 24 volt DC control voltage. Maximum is 28 volt DC. Connect the power cable and switch on your power supply. The LED will turn on. For commissioning and programming, use JVL's MacTalk software or a supported PLC. With MacTalk, you can do fast test movements and use the scope function to perform diagnostics and optimization. Be aware of voltage drops during acceleration, especially when several motors share a power supply. Make sure you have enough total power to run all motors at the same time. Or sequence the accelerations or reduce the maximum current. This was a quick power connection guide. For an in-depth information, please read the manual. To learn more about JVL Intelligent Motors and to learn how to program the MacTalk software, I recommend watching some of the many JVL webinars. If you found the video useful, Please like and subscribe. Your comments are also very welcome.